Hi all, I'm Cliff Cramp and I'm a freelance illustrator, uh, mostly working in the entertainment industry. And I'm originally from Southern California and I now reside in the foothills above Boise in Idaho. I am both, so, and I, I don't know if it's 50-50, I don't know if it's 60-40, all I know is I love to create, I love to push paint, I love to push pixels. Um, my assignment work is mostly digital, uh, my licensed work is digital and uh, analog, and my gallery work is analog. And sometimes when I'm working on a project, I'll start it analog and I'll finish it digitally. And sometimes I'll start it digitally because it's easy to comp up an image um, uh, digitally. I'll print it out on uh, paper so I don't have to redraw it and then mount it to uh, a board or panel and then paint it analog. Uh, well, I, I am schooled uh, in uh, illustration. Uh, I have an MFA degree in illustration. I also taught at a university. Well, I'd have to say I'm both uh, er, an early bird and a night owl. It depends on the project. If I had a preference, I would uh, the preference would be early bird. I do like to get up early, have my cuff, cup of coffee, um, my kids sleep a little bit later so I can get some work done before uh, they're up and they go off to work. So, um, yeah. Yes, it would be. The thing I wish I would have learned sooner within the arts is actually the business of art. Um, you know, I stumbled a lot early in my career um, learning about contracts, learning about usage rights versus you know, uh, work for hire, those kinds of things. Um, I really wish I would have had a little bit more training uh, in the business of art. Um, I would say the the must have music genres, I listen to a lot of music. So I have, my playlist is extensive in the, the variety of music. If I had to narrow it down to three, uh, soundtracks definitely because I listen to a lot of soundtracks of the films that I'm working on. Uh, 80s, new wave music, Talking Heads, Oingo Boingo, Duran Duran, all of those those greats. Uh, um, so new wave music and then classic rock from the you know from kind of mellow rock to to you know to metal uh, from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So those are those are my three favorite. Um, um, music that I listen to while I'm working. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a storyteller at heart, so I love to tell stories uh, orally. Um, you know, when you're sitting around talking with with folks, um, so. I'll, Illustration, because it's a story medium, uh, and because we're visual communicators, um, was a natural fit for me when I did uh, end up finally going to school for uh, uh, an art degree. Um, illustration, when I looked at the different programs, illustration was obviously the best fit for me for what I wanted to do. Well, obviously Star Wars. Um, would have to be a favorite movie when I was uh, a kid. I also loved uh, Blade Runner a few years later when I was a young adult. Uh, and, you know, that was a visual feast. One of my favorite movies of all time is Master and Commander. I just think it's great storytelling, great character development. My go-to comfort food is German food. Uh, my mom's from Mannheim, Germany, uh, and uh, my dad was a serviceman, and so I grew up with just great traditional German food. Yes, the the movie or the the actual video game that I wish I were or wish I could work on is is Halo. Um, so if anybody out there is Halo, there is a reason why it's Halo. Um, it's because my kids come into my studio while I'm working and I'm like, hey, look at what dad's working on. And they'll they'll just like, yeah, that's cool. It's not Halo though. 
kids. So it's like I'm not somebody in the eyes of my kids until I've worked on on Halo. So somebody get me some work on Halo so I could be uh, I could be leveled up in the eyes of of my kids. It would have to have been, uh, you know, as a young person, I come from a lower middle class family. My dad worked a whole heck of a lot. I had these dreams of being an artist, but it really wasn't, it wasn't discouraged in my family, but it wasn't necessarily encouraged. So um, when I was a freshman in high school, 1977, 14 years old, uh, my dad came home from work. My dad worked hard and he worked a lot, long hours. Uh, to support his family. And one time he came home early from work and we all thought, oh my gosh, what's wrong with dad? Is he sick? Um, and he wasn't, uh, but he came home early from work because he wanted to take a, take the family to see this new movie that was all the rage and it was Star Wars. Uh, and so watching Star Wars as a young person who, you know, had always these images in, in my head of, you know, just just drawing. I always was creating, drawing, drawing, drawing. And to see um, this visual feast on screen um, was a seminal moment for me, but it was also very inspirational, uh, uh, you know, with the character building and the world creation. Um, it, you know, it, it kind of sparked in me um, the possibilities that, uh, you know, a creative endeavor could include. I'm definitely somebody that needs something going on around me, some kind of white noise. I live across the street from an elementary school, so sometimes just opening the window of my studio and listening to that that white noise of kids playing during recess. I can't watch a movie um, or even have a movie in the background while I work because I want to watch the movie. Uh, you know, pretty much, much anything that is is you know. Um, indicating that there's life around me. I, I don't really work well in dead silence. Wow, there is pretty much everything visual inspires me. Um, you know, I, I tend to like to look at uplifting things. So, um, you know, those are the things that really, nature inspires me. Uh, you know, the interaction between two in, in individuals and just kind of watching and writing your own story in your mind. Uh, my wife and I write stories all the time, just when we're walking in the neighborhood, um, you know, about, you know, a residence or, you know, or, a, you know, a place or something like that. Can you imagine what, you know, those are, those are the things that inspire me. Um, as far as settings of my physical workspace, I have two studios. I love, um, I have one that's in the house, it's inside and it's my digital studio. And then I have an analog studio that um, is built onto my garage um, that I work with, with analog media because of fumes and things like that. I work outdoors. Um, if it's a beautiful day, I'll lug my paints, I'll lug my, my uh, laptop out into our backyard uh, and, and work there. So my physical space, um, you know, the setting of where I work, it's wide open. I just love to work, so wherever I can work, I'll work. Thank you.